President Trump joined the rest of the world in worrying that someone might be listening to him. U.S. President Donald Trump has launched some of his most explosive allegations ever, accusing his predecessor, Barack Obama, effectively of spying on him. In his extraordinary Twitter tirade, Donald Trump accused his predecessor, Barack Obama, of being a sick and bad guy who ordered wiretaps at Trump Tower in a Watergate-style conspiracy. Yes, Trump was concerned that Obama had full access to his innermost thoughts, something the rest of us have only had since <laughs> Trump joined Twitter. The only thing lacking was any sign that this wiretap had actually happened. Trump offered no evidence, let alone proof, that such wiretapping had occurred. And on Sunday, a spokesperson seemed to backpedal, saying only that it might have happened. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the president of the United States. If he says something happened, then it happened, yeah? You just need to connect the dots. Trump! At 6.35 a.m. March 4th, Washington time, the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, announced on Twitter that he has uncovered an insidious plot sure to rattle the very foundations of democracy. It seems that President Barack Hussein Obama, who is bad and sick, secretly tapped Trump's phones during the presidential campaign against Hillary Clinton, who is also bad and sick. <laughs> Obama recorded all of Trump's calls, hoping that he'd say something incriminating, possibly in Russian. At this point, Trump realises he's uncovered one of the greatest conspiracies since Watergate, which is why he pauses and at 8.19am writes a tweet about Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was Trump's successor on The Apprentice, a series that featured Boy George around the same time that then-still-president Barack Obama also met with a boy named George. <laughs> Obama now had secret recordings of Trump in the midst of a bitterly fought presidential campaign, and so he waited for the perfect moment to strike. And when that moment arrived, he kept waiting while Hillary lost and disappeared into the woods. And still, Obama waited, gathering further intel by attending Trump's inauguration, undercover in the form of a former president. And then, just as Trump became the most powerful man in the world, Obama went on holiday, <laughs> defying a travel ban on secret Muslims. Richard Branson tried to stop him, but Obama escaped and returned to public life under the cover of watching a Broadway play starring the Hulk, the guy from Monk, and Danny DeVito, who is the twin brother of Arnold Schwarzenegger. The same Arnold Schwarzenegger who replaced Donald Trump on The Apprentice and replaced him as president on The Simpsons. The same Simpsons that previously installed Trump as president. And Barack Hussein Obama would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling leader of the free world. All of which proves conclusively that President Trump shouldn't tweet first thing in the morning.